Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a uh, disassembly for you on this little guy right here. This is the Civivi Knives Knox, I believe. Yeah. yeah, well, you'll see it in the title. I believe it to be the Civivi Knox. This is a steel frame lock, and uh, at the moment, actually, it is right set it. However, it has a major problem, and that is that the detent is really hard on this guy. And that's mostly a factor when the lock bar is pressed in. But I wouldn't be shocked if there was some kind of a burr around the detent hole or something like that. So, if this ends up fixing that, well, that's a beautiful thing. Okay. So, looking at this knife right here, we have, uh, the, the pivot needs to come out, and then I'm gonna try and actually do it such that I remove the pivot from this side, and I remove these screws from this side, because otherwise I have to remove the clip screws too, and eh, not super into that. So, let's go on ahead, and actually I'll pop off these screws first. Yeah, it looks like T8 all around, no thread locker. That's a beautiful thing. Pop this loose. And then go after the pivot here. And that's coming loose too. Beautiful. Okay, that wasn't just for dramatic tension. I was sort of hoping that it would pop everything loose when I did that, but not quite yet. Uh, okay, am I being an idiot here? Is there any other screw that could be a factor? No, because I know that this and this are the only place where the scales connect. I've taken out one of the screws there, and then the pivot is over here. So what I'm going to go on ahead and do is use this little tool. This is a uh, spudger sort of tool from iFixit. Um, and I'm going to, there we go, pop that apart. And then I'll do the same thing back here. And now things come apart, and life is good. Hold on a second. Is that a burr on the blade? Okay, no, that's just some gunction on the blade. Whatever, not a big deal. All right, um, so what we see here is they have done no internal milling. Mind you, the steel isn't all that thick, but still, um, but steel, uh, uh, but nonetheless, um, they, 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 that's why this guy is as relatively heavy as it is. Aside from that, looks pretty, well, like a Civivi, right? Uh, let's go on ahead and, uh, grab a, a towel with rubbing alcohol on it. I think I gave the nickshabazz.com slash tools plug, but I'll go on ahead and I'll do that anyways here. Curious about the rubbing alcohol, although that one's actually not. No need for too much curiosity there, or any of the other tools I'm using. Go ahead, check out nickshabazz.com slash tools. They have a full listification of all of that right there for you. All right, so what we have here is pretty straightforward. Piece of metal, piece of metal, blade in between it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use, I'm testing a uh, tool here. These are reusable swabs from... Uh, Actually, knife pivot lube, oddly enough. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go on ahead and see. That is a burr from machining. So there is a piece of something. See if I can show it to you. That little thing right in the corner here. Yeah, that's a little burr from machining. Let's see if I can knock that back. Or break it off here. Yeah, okay, it's off. Yeah, that just didn't come. Uh, that just didn't. Get knocked all the way off. The hole didn't get deburred. Not the end of the world, uh, certainly. There it is. It might actually also be a chunk of coating that's on there, depending how hard this coating is. But either way, it's removed now, so no problem. I'm just dipping this little uh, swabby dealy here in a um, in the rubbing alcohol before I get all up in there. Okay, uh, so there's that. This is good. I'll clean off this little chunk right there. Next up, I'm going to put a little bit of booze on the, uh, the, the towel here and clean off the bearings. Again, this is pretty factory fresh, so shouldn't be effective, but, you know, can't hurt. Might help. Especially if there were little uh, burrs and whatnot. It, 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 we might assume that there is uh, some leftover dust in the bearings I want to get rid of. Okay, uh, now what I want to do is, again, I'll try get in here. Not convinced that these reusable ones are worth it, any dams, but hey, question is whether it's better to replace something that's disposable in paper with something that is reusable in plastic, right? Uh, always interesting questions there. Uh, but okay, let's go on ahead and clean anything else up. Looks like we're pretty good. I do like the small diameter of this, at least. 
All right. Um, so the next question is, what's going on with the detent? I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. But my, my worry, my thought... Uh, frankly, my hope was that there was a little bit of a ra uh, a little bit of a burr kind of sticking up off the edge of the detent ball hole here that would make that harder than it needs to be. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that there is. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this little ceramic file right here. This is actually from a Spyderco set. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of run it around the bottom of the hole here. I don't believe there to be any burr there, but this will serve to knock down anything that is there. And, although I'm not removing much material here, it'll actually smooth off that little bottom bit too. Uh, am I feeling a little burrification? No, maybe. I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna scratch up the blade itself, but either way, Anything that is on there is going to be gone now. All right. I don't know whether I made much of a difference there, right? None of us know whether we make any difference. Well, okay, some people find out, but nonetheless, it's the nature of being a human, I suppose. Uh, but anyways, I, I don't know whether I made any difference in the action there. I'll find out when I put this guy back together. Could also be that since this whole thing was running unlubricated, that the, the detent is going to be a little worse, a little stronger, that is, than otherwise. Using some rubbing alcohol here one more time just to clear out anything that remains inside that hole. Lift it on out of there. Okay, maybe these little swabby dudes are uh, worth a damn if they're letting me remove gunction directly out of that tiny hole. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I made a difference. Maybe I didn't. We'll find out. Uh, but anyways, so one other thing that's worth highlighting about this guy, he says with the camera zoomed all the way in, one of the other things that's worth highlighting is this pivot doesn't spin freely. And the reason for that is, uh, where are you? Right here. So right at the very edge here, I'll see if I can highlight this on the camera as we zoom back in. Yeah, see right here, that little area, the top. Yeah, th what that little area is, is uh, uh, hollow, and that engages with this little nubbin right here inside the blade, and that needs to, or uh, inside the scale, that is. Those things need to be aligned when I put this guy back together. So as I drop this pivot in, I need to make sure, because if I'm out of alignment, I'm going to purposely go out of alignment. What you're going to see here is that the pivot stays proud of the scales. It stays out a little bit more, versus when I put it into alignment, we're going to see, oh, pulled right in there. So I want to make sure it stays in that alignment. The reason to do that is because, well, A, it keeps the pivot from being free spinning, and B, what you don't want to have happen is that you install the pivot uh, improperly uh, without dropping it all the way in. And then in a few weeks and or months, using the knife, the thing uh, disassembles, or I'm sorry, it pops into place and suddenly the, the pivot is very loose. You don't want that. No good. That is... As the Spanish would not say, no bueno. Uh, no bueno is indeed Spanish, but that's not a Spanish expression. It's a bunch of freaking gabachos saying otherwise. All righty, uh, let's go on ahead and drop a little bit of lubrication onto the wrong damn side. Now I drop that on there. Put this in. We have Exxon Shabazz, the whole affair. Beautiful. All right, uh, anything else here? Nope. Uh, the two uh, backspacer standoffs are uh, still attached, so we got no worries there. Now I just drop this in together, such that everything aligns, is the dream at least. And there should be a little bit of snap in action as I, there we go, there's your snap action. As everything goes into proper positioning here. And see, the last bit of snap didn't work until I lifted the lock bar. That takes some of the tension out of the system. It may unsnap itself here shortly if I don't act quickly enough. It is worth noting and worth appreciating that all of the screws on this are one size. They're all T8. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, pivot in first. Using a little bit of blue Loctite on a stick and double checking to make sure that the pivot is in the right orientation for the nubbin to interact with the ledge. Next thing I'm going to do is put the uh, blade in, uh, well, put it home, so to speak. That will uh, make it a little bit easier to install these guys correctly. 
And now we put this into place. Come in. There we go. And this into place. Here we go. And now, beautiful. The tent is still too damn hard. Oof. It's okay if you have absolutely no pressure on the lock bar. But this is a thing that I think might be penalizing Civivi because they just don't do a lot of frame locks, right? Um, we does, but Civivi doesn't. So I'm thinking they designed this guy with the right amount of detent for a line of lock uh, and didn't remember that people have to put their fingers someplace, especially on a relatively smaller knife like this. Mm, a little bit of play still. Let me tighten this up just a tad more here. There we go. Eh, the tent is too much, unfortunately. Okay, so uh, we've got everything back together here. We are dead centered. Everything's running well, except for the detent being a little strong. Uh, well, not adjusted well for being a steel frame lock. But anyways, um, there, 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 there you go. Um, I hope this has been interesting to you and that you uh, have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. See if I can't knock out another couple of disassemblies. Uh, okay, anyways, hope this has been interesting. Have a good one. Bye now.